june twenty third st joseph cafasso st joseph cafasso's body was twisted with curvature of the spine yet in a society that looked down on the disabled this shrivelled little priest became a successful teacher preacher and confessor his life tells us to value people with physical deformities and his example signifies hope to all disabled persons ordained in the year eighteen thirty three joseph cafasso first became a popular lecturer and then in the year eighteen forty eight the rector of the church and institute of st francis in turin italy however don cafasso became best known as a confessor he had a gift for releasing penitents from scruples when we hear confessions he wrote the lord wants us to be loving merciful and fatherly to all his friend and biographer john bosco told this story forty-five hardened criminals had promised to go to confession on the vigil of a feast of our lady but when the day came none of them would confess his sins don cafasso's ingenuity charity and courage found a way out of the difficulty with a smile he approached the biggest and strongest prisoner without a word don cafasso grabbed his long beard thinking the priest was fooling around the man said take anything else you like but leave my beard i won't let you go until you go to confession replied don cafasso but i don't want to go to confession said the prisoner you may say what you like said the priest but you won't escape until you confess i'm not prepared said the prisoner then i will prepare you said cafasso if the prisoner had wished he could have easily freed himself but whether it was by respect for the priest or by god's grace the man surrendered he allowed himself to be led to a corner of the room don cafasso sat on a bundle of straw and prepared his friend for confession shortly there was a commotion the prisoner was so moved by don cafasso's exhortation that his sighs and tears almost prevented him from telling his sins then he who had been most vehement in refusing to make his confession went to his companions he told them that he had never been so happy in his life and his experience persuaded them all to go to confession over the years don cafasso accompanied sixty condemned men to their public executions he regarded these hanged saints as his favorite parishioners as a teenager john bosco idolized joseph cafasso and the two became close friends on june twenty third eighteen sixty at the age of forty nine joseph cafasso passed away he passed away from pneumonia this pneumonia was coupled with several other complications including a stomach hemorrhage all he owned was bequeathed to the little house of providence which was a religious order close to his heart that was founded decades before his passing pope pius the twelfth canonized joseph cafasso on june twenty second in the year nineteen forty seven pope pius the twelfth also declared him patron saint of all italian prisoners on april ninth in the year nineteen forty eight